What's going on everybody? Um, this lesson right here is based around service dogs and I wanted to make this quick video um, to talk about service dogs. And if you're not a dog person and you're a cat person, it's okay. Just move on to the next video. I don't, uh, I don't believe the service animal thing applies to cats. You might want to check with your local uh, state laws on that, but uh, I've never seen it. So uh, with service dogs, I've got to say my service dog Zeus has been such an amazing help during my transition um when i had really 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 bad like disabling anxiety where i couldn't go out anywhere i couldn't do anything i couldn't drive a car I couldn't go shopping couldn't even go into the living room you know i started suffering from bad agoraphobia which um essentially is like where your walls start closing in and so just in this little apartment that wasn't mine um uh, my friends um it just started the walls just started closing in and my dog helped me so much um it's a perfect like diversion tactic and you know we talk about diversion a lot um in the anxiety hacker program but the dogs uh it, gosh they're amazing you know like i'm a i'm a huge believer in service animals service dogs stuff like that and zeus has helped me so much to where like it's crazy nowadays like i say i'm his service person you know he's no longer my service dog because i used to like rely on him a whole lot um and there's for so many reasons um but now like i don't need him but i bring him out because he now has anxiety maybe it rubbed off but um the the diversion tactics uh, are just absolutely incredible you know you think about it whenever you know those of us uh, that have anxiety social anxiety um uh, anything we go out and it's so easy to get focused on one thing that's causing the anxiety that's uh, the social especially with social anxiety it's people but with having a service animal, it was incredible because you had like somebody there to help you. Um, somebody that's your friend, this animal that's your friend and the tugging and pulling and, and just kind of guiding him, you know, or her, you know, as you're, as you're like guiding your service animal, um, it's a diversion tactic and a really good one at that. So I highly recommend service animals and, <clears throat> and I know like a lot of you and, uh, also, there's the benefits if you live in an apartment, you don't have to pay pet fees or any of that. And if you've already paid a pet fee, check with your local apartment or like if you're renting a home. But um, a lot of times you can get refunded back your pet fee. So like if you have a, uh, a dog now and get it registered and then just say like, hey, I've got a service animal. I didn't know, you know, whenever I moved in about the service animal stuff, like first off, can you credit me? Uh, not charge me monthly for my service animal, but would I be able to get a refund on my pet deposit since now this is a service animal? And, um, and so a lot of people use that. And uh, and so I'm going to recommend this website. It's called the United States Service Dog Registry. And this is where like pretty much, you're pretty much just signing this e-document saying like, hey, my dog is trained, like uh, my dog is, knows how to act. He's my service animal, blah, blah, blah. And they will actually send you documents in the mail you know, card, a tag, and all this stuff to, like, legitimize your service dog. And you don't have to, like, go through a doctor. And this is where, like, so many people haven't messed up. You think you need to go to the doctor, but that causes anxiety and all this stuff. Like, I wasn't able to, first off, afford a doctor. And second, it caused me too much anxiety to try to go through the whole process of going through a doctor and getting the service dog. Like, I'm telling you, this is, like, a secret, I'd say, loophole uh, for those of us that truly need anxiety. And it's sad because so many people utilize the United States Service Dog Registry in the wrong way. They just do it so they don't have to pay pet fees and they can take their dog anywhere. And that's not what I'm saying to do. Those of us that actually have anxiety and that could utilize a service dog, I'm saying go to the United States Service Dog Registry and I think you can get their like platinum package, like 50 bucks or something. But I think you can get ID card for like 10, 20 bucks, 15 bucks or something like that. And um, I'm telling you like it, it saved, it essentially saved my life. It's a total game changer. So go out there, register your dogs as service dogs, just to like, even if you don't take your dog anywhere, like just to have it um, is good. Just to like have it up here that you can take your dog anywhere if you need it. Um, and there are times that I have like really bad anxiety where I have to have my service dog, you know, um, events I speak at, uh, or I've got a big conference coming up with about 6,000 people I'm going on stage at. Like these are the times where like, I like having my dog. I won't bring my dog up on stage or nothing. But like just the days leading up and stuff like, you know, like whenever you get the butterflies and stuff like that. So um, I, I just highly recommend service dogs. Check out, I've got the link below for the United States Service Dog Registry. Um, and I use this for all of my dogs, all my dogs. 
and every dog I will ever have will be service dogs through the United States Service Dog Registry. All right, peace.